Dolphins fans, welcome into Dolphins today. I am Will Scott going over the latest Miami Dolphins news and rumors. But before we get into today's show, help us reach 41,250 subscribers. Need a little over 200 more. And I'm hearing from the bosses that we got to get there before the NFL draft next week. So hit that subscribe button below. Help us reach our next milestone here at Chat Sports. Again, subscribe to the channel for daily Dolphins content. Now let's get into some news and notes from yesterday's press conference. So Chris Greer spoke to the media. Tua Tungavailoa spoke to the media, as well as Xavier and Howard. We're going to break down some of the more interesting nuggets to come out of those press conferences. And we begin with Chris Greer talking about wide receiver said Wilson. And he was asked about the trade rumors because we've obviously heard a lot about the possibility of Cedric Wilson getting traded, especially after the signing of new wide receiver Chosen Anderson. Here is what Chris Greer said about that. Cedric signed here to be the number two wide receiver at the time, and then we made the trade for Tyreek Hill. But how he handled himself, he's an incredible professional, like volunteering to return kicks for us at the end of the year. We're not shopping him, but teams have called. And especially when we just added Chosen, we've had a couple teams reach out. He's a really good guy, and I'm just trying to do right by him because of how he's handled himself on and off the field. Two things that st stood out from that quote. Number one, we're not shopping him, but teams have called. So the Dolphins are not calling teams, asking if they're interested for Sad Wilson, saying that he's available for a trade, but teams are calling the Dolphins to check in on Cedric Wilson. And then Chris Greer said that he wants to do right by said Wilson. And right now he's kind of buried on this wide receiver depth chart. He did not get that involved last season. So to me, it sounds like a trade could certainly happen. Maybe Chris Greer hinting at a possible said Wilson trade. And it would not shock me because again, he was not that involved this past season in Miami. 12 receptions, 136 yards. And you know, that comes after a really good season in Dallas in 2021. 45 receptions, 602 yards, six touchdowns. But it does not surprise me uh, that said Wilson has maybe gotten some interest here from other teams because the Dolphins have a lot of talent wide receiver. They don't necessarily need said on the team right now. They have Tyreek Hill. They have Jalen Waddell. Uh, not to mention, you sign Chosen Anderson, you sign Braxton Berrios, you bring back River Craycraft, and then you have Eric Ezukama, Braylon Sanders, and Freddie Swain. And they're only going to be able to keep six or seven of those guys. Will said Wilson be traded? Type Y for yes or type in for no down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when ad break comes, go down, chime in. What do you think? Will said Wilson be traded? Now let's get into what Chris Greer had to say about Austin Jackson. And Jackson was supposed to be the starting right tackle this past season, but he got hurt in game one. He comes back in December, gets hurt again. Only 84 snaps, and I think we're all kind of thinking and hoping that the Dolphins are going to sign a right tackle in for agency. It has not happened yet, and I don't think it's going to happen because Chris Greer said at his press conference yesterday that the expectation is Austin Jackson is going to be the starting right tackle on this team. And I am not shocked that, that's, that, that that is the direction the team is going, but I'm a little bit disappointed by it because you have, I think, in my opinion at least, two holes right now in this offensive line, left guard and right tackle. Uh, Eichenberg has struggled in that left guard spot. Austin Jackson has struggled in – Pretty much every spot he's been in, unfortunately, taking a look at the PFF grades. Now, uh, the 2022 season is a limited sample size uh, because he only played in 84 snaps in that season. So it's hard to kind of judge him on last season. And, you know, he was making a lot of strides in the offseason, to his credit. Uh, and then he looked decent in the preseason. Um, but again, he just did not play that much because of the injuries last year, and he's just kind of unproven. Again, looking at these PFF grades, we have a 57.9 grade last year. Again, very limited sample size, so take that grade with a grain of salt. 2021, he was the starting left guard. That did not go well. 
one of the worst rated guards of in the league, I should say, 49.9. And then in 2020, when he was the starting left tackle, a 52.5 grade. Look, if the team believes in Austin Jackson, great. I hope that works out. But at the very least, bring in some competition for him and can't because right now he's the guy. There's really nobody behind him that could challenge him for that right tackle spot. And Greer said yesterday that Robert Hunt is not going to be getting reps at right tackle. He's going to be the starting right guard. And that's how it should be because Hunt is one of the better right guards in the league. You should keep him there. Don't move Hunt. I don't disagree with Chris Greer there. But I do disagree with just handing Austin Jackson the starting right tackle job right now when he's not proven, when he has been on the field, he struggled. Not to mention, you have Tua Tungavaloa's health is a major concern heading into this year. you got to keep Tua Tungavaloa healthy. You can do that by solidifying the offensive line. Maybe they'll surprise us and draft a right tackle next week. And if they do, that right tackle is going to be putting on this Dolphins draft hat. But you can you can be putting it on right now if you go and order it at chatsports.com slash Dolphins draft. That link is in the comments in the description of today's video. But Go and take advantage of it. If you order it right now, it'll probably get to your house by draft day. You want to be repping the fins on draft day. That cap is a pretty fresh one uh, as well. So chatsports.com slash Dolphins Draft. Go and rep the fins. That link is in the comments in the description. Number three thing uh, that Chris Greer said that kind of stood out to me uh, was about the NFL draft next week. Could the Dolphins trade up? I don't think so because Miami only has four draft picks. But Chris Greer was asked that question yesterday. Here is what he said. We've had a couple teams in the bottom half of the first round reach out saying they would be interested in coming down, possibly if their guys aren't there, and if we'd be interested in moving up. So for us, again, any opportunities we can to get a player, we'll look at it. So no serious conversations, but we've had those, and we'll keep those options open. So as I mentioned, the Dolphins only have four picks. Now, Chris Greer said you know, he's keeping those options open. If the right opportunity comes to move up to get the right guy, then maybe, they, maybe the Dolphins would consider moving up. But there's only one guy in this entire draft that I am willing to move up for, and that is Georgia tight end. Darnell Washington. This guy is an absolute stud. Had a great year at Georgia this past year. Was second team all SEC. Uh, started 14 games for Georgia. A national championship team. And you look at the combine results from the NFL combine. This guy absolutely tore up the NFL combine. I mean, it was absolutely wild. 4.6440. 31-inch vertical jump. 91 athleticism score, second amongst all tight ends. So not to mention, this guy is a really good run blocker. He can be the blocker that Mike Kosicki was not, and then he can also be dynamic in the in terms of a pass catcher. Darnell Washington is my dream draft target for the Dolphins. I don't think he is going to fall to 51, but if they have to go up and get him, that's the one guy I'm willing to maybe move some picks around for to go up and, uh, and get Darnell Washington in this draft. Do you want to trade up for Darnell Washington? Type T for trade or type P for pass down in the comments section. Let me know. Do you want to trade up for Darnell Washington? Let's talk about Tua Tungavailoa now. Uh, he made some headlines yesterday with his press conference. Uh, he was asked if he considered retirement after those scary concussions this past season. And he said, yes, he did consider retirement. He talked to his family and coaches and friends about it. And here's what he said yesterday at this press conference. Yeah, I think I considered it for a time, having sat down with my family and my wife, kind of having those conversations. It would be hard for me to walk away from this game with how old I am with my son, I always dreamed of playing as long as I could to the point where my son knew what he's watching. So to a tongue of Iloa, you know, as we all know, uh, definitely uh, has his health going forward as a priority. Uh, he's trying to get healthy. He's taking the necessary steps to learn how to fall, taking the 
jujitsu classes, and you know, hopefully uh, those help, and hopefully uh, he's well protected next year. Hopefully the offensive line steps up. But uh, yeah, I think we're all kind of scared for Tua uh, after those concussions. You're talking about a 24 year old guy that has a newborn baby, uh, trying to start a family, and we want him to stay healthy, right? Uh, there's life beyond football. There's more to life uh, than football for these players. So, you know, hopefully Tua can stay healthy. Hopefully the concussions are in the past. Um, uh, but it is, you know, kind of interesting to hear him say that he did consider a retirement uh, after uh, the end of his season. Let's talk about Xavier Howard now. Uh, Xavier Howard, X, kind of had a disappointing year this past year. But I think that he is healthy, and I think he's going to have a good year. Here's what he said. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think that X, when you look at some of the problems he had last year, yeah, uh, he wasn't 100%. But I also wonder, you know, could he benefit from having a better defensive coordinator like Vic Fangio, if that's going to help him? Here's what he said yesterday. Just seeing people saying, I'm washed, I'm getting older, and stuff like that. Just a little bit of motivation. People are going to say this and say that. I've been proving the critics wrong my whole life, so it's nothing new. And I think X is in for a big year. I really do. I think he's more than capable of playing a lot better than he did last year because we've seen X play a lot better. I don't think this guy's washed, and I think pairing him alongside Jalen Rams is going to be awesome. I think Vic Fangio is going to do big things for Xavier Howard. Him getting back to 100% is going to be huge. He was not 100% really at all last season. So I think X is in for a big year this this next season. Show some love to Xavier Howard, one of the best Dolphins corners ever. Type X down in the comment section.